Okay, so in the sovereignty views, you have hard determinism, God ordains what? All things, right? Does God ordain all things like the stoic leaf falling to here and there? Not according to scripture and not according to the early church fathers. In soft determinism, God knows all things. We can agree with that. Absolutely, God knows all things. The indeterminist, God's power is limited. Is God's power limited? Absolutely not. That's wrong. Okay. And in open theism, God limits his knowledge. I mean, is, I mean he's omniscient. He doesn't limit his knowledge. So there's some problems with these views of sovereignty and how they try to get by it. So here's my suggestions on sovereignty. God ordains only a few things. He doesn't ordain it. He only ordains a few things, and we'll see that in Scripture. We're going to look and uh, see how many times these words foreordained, predestined, those words are used, and look at them and compare that to God's desires. And we'll see that God desires a lot of things, but He only ordains a few things. Right? Secondly, God knows all things, even contingencies, things that could happen but will not happen. He knows those. Um, and I will say I take a modified Molinist view on this. I don't think the Molinist view is correct either, but there are some very good reasons to think he has to know contingencies. God's foreknowledge is not causal. causal. We saw that with dropping the book with the Bible. His foreknowledge is not causal. We have to understand that. That is a common mistake in theological circles, uh, just as you saw Clark Pinnock. If you believe that God's foreknowledge necessitates something to happen, that's an incorrect philosophical view. And then finally, God limits His power. God's power is not limited. He's omnipotent. But God limits His power. Right? Now, how do we know that? Well, look at Jesus. When Jesus came to earth, He had to cover His glory, right? Because He's God. And if He didn't cover His glory, according to the Torah, what would have happened? We'd all die. I mean, everybody that saw him would die. You know, no man could see me and live. So he had to cover, his, he had to limit that power, that glory that he had in that situation. So that's how God limits his power. That's a voluntary choice to do things. God limits himself. He makes commitments and he limits himself. Nobody limits God or causes him to do anything. He himself limits himself. So those are the, the fourth views of sovereignty that I think are correct. God, God ordains only a few things. He knows all things. Foreknowledge is not causal, and God limits his power. If you understand sovereignty in that way, you're going to be far ahead in understanding how sovereignty and free will and predestination and election and all these things fit together. That's going to determine your view of salvation. But if you believe that God micromanages every detail, you will end up in a deterministic system without fail. It's inevitable that you will do that.